In an entry titled Quran and Science, in his 1994 book, Struggling to Surrender, Some Impressions of an American Convert to Islam. Mathematics professor at Wisconsin University and writer Jeffrey Lang quotes verses 2 and 3 from chapter 67. He who created the seven heavens, one above another, no fault will you see in the creation of the most merciful. So turn your vision again. Do you see any flaw? Again, turn your vision, and again your vision will come back to you, dazzled, defeated. Lang commented, Although the inability of man to encompass the mysteries and complexity of creation is expressed in this passage, it seems to point to various natural phenomena as well. We are not taking this opportunity to assert that there are specific Quranic verses that refer to specific scientific discoveries. We are merely comparing Quranic statements that deal with the physical universe and certain scientific notions. Often there appears to be profound similarities. Lang continued, But more notably, as Bukai observes, the Quran is distinguished from all other works of antiquity that describe or attempt to explain the workings of nature in that it avoids mistaken concepts. For in the Quran, Many subjects are referred to that have a bearing on modern knowledge, without one of them containing a statement that contradicts what has been established by present-day science. Lang concluded his statement on a revealing note. He said, The Quran anticipated an evolution in the mentality of man culminating in an age when reason and science would be viewed as the final criterion of truth.